What's going on, everyone? Welcome back. I hope everybody's having a great day. Folks, we're going to go back to a gig of pan that I looked at a while back. It's from Sol 2657 from Curiosity Rover. Now, my good friend Neville Thompson had put this gig of pan together. Thank you, Neville Thompson. We appreciate your work. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the raw photo or gig of pan. I'm going to point out a couple of things that look a little curious to me, and then we're going to enhance it. What I thought was just a rocky hillside turned out to be something much more. Let's just jump right into it and have a look. All right, you can see it right here. It's MSL 2657. And over here, you can see it was uploaded on February 5th, 2020. And you can see it's 3.69 gigapixels. So decent size. It's 300 DPI. He always tries to use the best uh, quality if he can. All right, so you can see it from left to right. Really, really cool. And of course, you folks will get this pan. You can check it out. They have a couple things that they mocked off what they found really interesting. And yeah, there's some kind of weird things, some blocks and some other different things, right? What I'm interested in is jumping way over here. And folks, when I first seen this right off the bat, I thought caved in structures, right? If you look at this area, hmm, okay. Got a line almost going straight across over to this area and then keep going, okay? So we do it right up to about this point. Here's what's interesting. Even if I did nothing to this photo, did zero enhancement, folks, check this out. We're going to very, we're going to use the term terminator on top of this hillside. And to me, it doesn't look like rocks. I th see things that look like maybe bent steel or something along them lines. What looks like ruins, right? The other thing is too, I find it interesting, and we're going to get into Photoshop and show you this. Right here, you get this white right here in the middle. Now you can only think of maybe it's sunlight coming through but i don't even think it's that but let's just say it is look at the shadow it's coming from top right coming down why doesn't this this side of the shadow echo the same thing why because it's not a shadow look carefully you can see an outline of what they laid over here see this see that right there and then there's some different colors and i've always told you what these colors represent different densities of manipulation so let's just jump right into this and have a really good look at it shall we Okay, notice now if we jump into this, you can see like that area I'm showing you in the middle of the page. This to me looks a little bit different than it did just a second ago. I'm going to put it right smack dab here, and then we're going to have a look. This piece right here looks nothing like when we just looked at it on the raw photo. It's almost like they're going into this thing and changing it up, right? Let's have a look to the left. Now, folks, even if this is, like I said, this area right here, even if this was a slot, and it, it appears to be on this one uh, between these rocks, right? When you look at it, you see right there, you've got a shadow going this way, which makes sense because if you look at all the other shadows in there, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. You can see it from here, but why isn't a shadow going this way on this side of this so-called face of rock? You don't see this right here. However, you do see nothing but shadow in here. So my question is, is this some sort of manipulation or is it really shadow? I think it's manipulation. And we're gonna get into that a little bit more because there's something in here that's revealing. And again, once we just bring up the exposure, you'll see what I'm talking about here. This is interesting when you look at this part because once we get in here, you're gonna see something that looks like a piece of steel with some kind of like, almost looks like a box wrench or as you folks on the UK call it a spanner, you'll see it looks like a box side of a wrench. So let's just brighten this up. Okay. Now we're going to get into this a little bit more because this is cool. Once you get into this, it's it's really wild. And again, the shadows, I don't believe these are shadows at all. Um, and you can see, eh, it doesn't really look like a whole lot. But right here is where I want you guys to really check out. It's got this little 90 degree angle. And it appears to go up like this here and go over. And it almost looks like it drops a little bit, but does it? There's also a line here and it's very faint. It's almost impossible to see this. You can see it going up like this, just under that, going like this and coming back around. I'm going, okay, maybe it's nothing, you know. The second I started to burn this area very, very lightly because we don't want to destroy the photo. We want to just bring out anything. If it's darker, we want to bring it out darker. If it's lighter, we want to bring it out lighter. Lines, same way, right? You can see an outline of something. You want to bring this outline out. This right here, and at first I didn't think this was anything of any value, but once you look at this here, 
you can see what looks like some kind of ramp. You can see it doing this, going straight across. This is on the right-hand side, top. Going, going across just a little bit, down at an angle, straight down. Seems to come back at another angle, but look underneath to the right of it. Looks like there's a shadow, right? The other side, not so defined. But you can see way up here, almost near this really weird boulder standing up vertically. You can see what looks like some kind of piece that drops off here. This thing looks like some kind of ramp or part of a structure wall or whatever it may be. And it just happens to be laying down. But we also have a whole lot of this going on. You got these pieces here on this side, just laying down on the ground, rectangular blocks. Again, little pieces like this on the lower right corner. And like I said, once I'm done, just showing you a couple of little things, we're going to have a look at the fully enhanced. This clearly does not look natural at all. Now, this area also blew my mind. Because when I seen this, just this, the shape of this alone makes you go, is that really natural or is it something else, right? Okay. Now, there is some other pieces on this side on the very right. We'll get to that as well. Let's look at the fully enhanced. You can see the background here. To me, that is not natural. To me, that is nothing more than fill. Because I think the top part right up here is actually what's left of a structure. By putting a false background, you believe, oh, this is just nothing more than a hillside. But I believe there's much more to it. Again, folks, here's the biggest thing. Once we got through this part, now I'm going to show you this again. Because I pointed this out earlier. You can see this little piece. It's got this little 90 degree. And it appears to almost just go up, straight over, and down just a hair bit. And like I said, we have this, you can see what looks like manipulation. Because this thing literally goes up goes like this here and then comes back down. Well, wait a minute. What if this is something more down inside this wannabe shadow? Well, there is. Let's have a look. Folks, this is a doorway. Once I ran the burn tool over this just very lightly, the rest of this 90 degree angle right here became all of this. Notice how the shadow is no longer a shadow. You don't see it sticking out like it was like here which again has the weirdest angle because if you look at everything else in here you see the way the sun is coming down from the top right see that and every other rock pretty much shows the same thing it depends on the size of the rock of course but you can see that now why would this shadow be way off doesn't make any sense okay so again suddenly this thing becomes an opening now is it possible it's natural and it's nothing more and that's it. Well, I don't believe that it is. On this area, folks, you need to take out your magnifiers and stuff. I'm just going to make a circle around these things. And you can have a look at the little things sticking out. Like this right here. In fact, we can go back to this piece alone. Check that thing out. It actually has height to it and has a base to it. Okay. A lot of these other parts. like This thing has some kind of design on it. I'm not sure what to even make of this. Because when you look at it closely, it almost looks like it has a squiggly piece, almost like a design of a snake on the top of it. Now, I'm not saying that's what it is, but it appears that way. This piece right here. This is interesting. It looks like a rock sticking out on just laying on the surface, right? But when you start to enhance it, it looks like it's inset. Like what they did was all of this here. I'm just going to make an outline where it looks like they put like this background or wannabe ground around it. If we go back to the other one. Check this out. It looks like nothing more than a rock sitting on the surface right here, right in the middle of the screen. Have a better look, though. You can see there's lines. It goes from the very top. And if you look at the outline, the way this thing does this, it's interesting. OK, going right across and you can see other designs in this thing, but it appears to do this. And it looks like crisscrosses inside this. OK, so that's telling me this is not natural. It looked like they tried to go around this object with a fake ground, okay? But folks, just look at any of this stuff laying on the ground. Again, in my opinion, I see ruins. I see crazy things you should not see. Again, this opening on the very bottom of this so-called face of a rock or a hillside, I see what looks like an opening, and this might very well have been a structure. I got a little bit, and we'll go over to the right. Again, we have this long piece going all the way from the left, all the way to the right. 
And folks, have a look at this. As I said before, now we can have a better look at this right here. I'm not sure whether these are metal, it's piping, it's some kind of machinery piece. I'm not sure what to make of this, but it is there. I don't believe this thing right here is a rock at all. This, you can see over on this side to the left, appears to be a pipe sticking out. See that? It's going to back out just a little bit. Again, this to the right, I don't believe this is natural at all. It seems to me that it's something intelligently made. Now, keep in mind, I was told years ago when I started this, it was like an anonymous email saying, hey, Chris, you know, you're on the right track for this. You know, they're using a rock mimicking software. That's all I'm going to tell you. So I tried to respond to this person. I said, can you get back to me and tell me more about it? I could not send the mail to him. I uh, could not reply to him. Boom, dead. But this area alone, it, it just screams like this. It looks like a bunch of parts. It looks like something's been pulled apart. Like if you had like rebar or structural reinforcements or any of that sort, right? And I'm going to back it a little bit. And I'm going to slowly go back from right to left. Pause this anywhere. Take out your magnifier and tell me what you think. Because there's a lot of crazy stuff in here. Again, are we seeing piping in here? That other piece I just showed you. What are we seeing in here? This thing goes all the way to the left, all the way and connects to this other side. Is it possible that line that we're seeing across, was that some part of the structure at one time, or is it just the way it connects to this? It is merely speculation as to what this stuff could be. Again, on the very top, which I find really interesting, you can see what looks like all of these bits and all of these weird things right there. That's not rocks, folks. That looks like bent steel. Is it possible it's some kind of petrified organics? But to me, this looks like twisted junk. This is what it looks like to me. We have this thing right here. It looks like some kind of weird tombstone, but it's not. Again, the software tries to make anything look like a stone and when you see this part here, it kind of looks like this weird tombstone, and it's not. If you really look through this thing, you can see a shape in here, and you see it right here on the center. Now, if we got rid of these lines and made this right here, you can see it just sticking out of that tombstone. We'll use the term tombstone area, right? You can see this piece right here. Now, watch. I'm going to take the lines off. Check it out. You can see through this object. So, again, there's lines, and they're trying to just put this stuff over it so you and I can't see through it. This stuff over here, it's crazy. It looks like almost in a line. You can see it all right here. Now, if we go back to the original, you can still see these objects. Again, making a circle around it. If you look at this piece here, it comes down. Comes down like this, angles this way, comes over this way. Not very straight, but you get the idea. And if you look at right here, this little piece, it almost looks like, again, an end of a wrench, only it's an open end part of it or Spanish, if you please, uh, right here at the very end of this, check this out. Now let's show it to you this way. Folks, come on. This stuff is actually there. But again, if we can put like a fog or haze or whatever they call it digitally over this stuff, you won't be none the wiser. But this stuff is in fact there. Look at some of these crazy things laying on the ground. This to me screams intelligently made and not natural. And of course, as always, you folks be the judge. Give you the full picture. Have a look at it with your magnifiers or eyepieces. Tell me what you see. Folks, I don't know about you, but when I look at this thing, in my opinion, that's a structure. Again, after going after this photo, looking at the main part of it, you just seen that little 90 degree angle when you brought up the brightness. Once you did that and just slightly went over with the burn tool, this thing opened up all the way to what looks like an opening. And you can see that ground goes up and it looks like it goes into it. And that would make sense if everything toppled off of the structure, you would have to walk up on it and go inside this opening. Once you look at all of these other things laying on the ground, they don't look natural. It looks more like, to me, it looks more like it's intelligently made. Again, on the top, this terminator of this hill, it looks like a bunch of bits twisted metal, twisted other something or other. And if it's not, then it's, it's again, it's organics uh, that's been petrified. Mm, I'm going to go with the first one on this. Uh, again, my opinion. 
As always, folks, drop your comments down below. Well, let me know what you think. I'm always curious to hear what you folks have to say. Please like and share the video. It's always appreciated. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up so that YouTube shares it. Folks, got more videos coming up. Stay tuned. We'll see you then. Peace.